Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Micro Machines Overview. We're starting today a new VR season to just see what's gonna happen and try to top the previous one, although it's a lot to live up to. I don't think so far we had like insane stuff announced, but it's just January, so considering it should always be a dead month, which it's not gonna be, it's already a good thing. So Micro Machines is a track building simulator game, where in a Hot Wheels-esque scenario you get to build custom race tracks in various environments that lets you be a kid again alone at home and relieve your inner childhood memories. This is the first on the official store, so it's really nice the year starting like that. I remember when I was a child I had maybe bootleg versions of all those companies that produce track sets like that. Interestingly, I don't know if it's sponsored or not, but it is a part of Hasbro this release, so we have yet another big name in the toy industry entering the platform besides Lego previously. I like how crazy it looks with different perspectives and that you actually can follow cars while on the journey through the contraptions you build, whether in the campaign or use sandbox mode. I do think a first person view would be quite neat to fully immerse yourself in it, though it probably would have been only for the locomotion masters cause considering the car can flip, turn, spin and do anything, that might have been just a pure puke city. <laughs> I like the art style, it's set in a vibrant but very relatable environment with childhood references that get you in that specific ambience. There seem to be a lot of possibilities and freedom, though I'll probably stick to the campaign mode purely for the sake of some guidance but I like that this goes for a gadgeteer vibe but with mini race cars. There will be as well car modifications, different engines like <laughs> kind of a need for speed situation to achieve some different stats so it should be interesting overall and it's something unique so it has everything going for it. Let's build some race tracks. Alright, well, first release of the year and first failure on our hands. Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise because the footage might be a bit too chaotic to show on the channel, so there are just specific situations that might be more come in handy and, and I suppose today it had to be like that, but regardless I'll be showing the footage and talking about the game anyways. So the overall game is fairly cute and decent, though it wasn't shown on the initial trailer, but there is actually a third locomotion option which lets you be in the first person camera mode or rather having your face in the car's bumper and by no one's surprise it's so intense that I don't think other people will be opting to play like that although it's nice to have an option. The mechanics are fairly straightforward, you build from the ground up the tracks depending on the game mode you pursue, cause certain have pre-made like time trial and the other ones have some initial guidance but then the rest you need to figure it out. Moving around in environments is fine as well, sometimes the locomotion up and down might be a bit framey or I don't know how to call it, but it's definitely not as smooth as going back and forth and perusing around the objects, so just up and down thing is kind of like eh. I wouldn't say it's the most overly complicated thing ever, like it has a straightforward concept with the execution and what you'll get out of it, but not necessarily anything else, so it does its job well without any bugs and for people that like this type of content, it seems to be a relatively good experience. Well, I hope the other releases this year won't get as wonky. It's not necessarily a huge loss or whatever, but it's just I like to have the consistency in terms of the overview routine I suppose. Anything besides it completely throws me off and I can't focus on my daily living. <laughs> can't do much about it and I just need to continue doing my job here. <laughs> See you around!